Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making a fantastic, affordable Walmart holiday cheese tray. Let me show you how to put it together. Walmart offers a huge box of assorted crackers, which are perfect for a cheese tray. This was the most expensive item I bought, which was $4.28, and you get a lot of crackers. Next is the 8-ounce package of Gouda cheese for $2, and the 8-ounce package of Pepper Jack cheese for $2. You gotta have brie on a cheese board, and this 4-ounce wedge was $2.97. And you really need one kind of fancy-looking cheese for color and presentation. So I went with the Blueberry Lemon Thyme Goat Cheese, which was $3.98. The grapes were $2.68, and you can choose between one of these two nuts. Almonds are slightly fancier than peanuts, but they're more expensive. The peanuts cost 54 cents less, and you get more than double the amount of almonds. So, peanuts it is for $2.44. This gives us a grand total of $20.35, which is a lot of bang for your buck. First, I'm slicing the pepper jack cheese into quarter-inch slices like you see here. This is approximately what your slices should look like when you're done. We'll do the same with the Gouda cheese. The slices will be a quarter of inch in thickness. And let's take another look at the crackers. I was really impressed with the packaging, how many crackers you got, and the variety. There are six flavors. We've got multigrain, wheat and flax, rosemary, whole wheat stone ground, sea salt black pepper, and poppy and pepper. It's a great selection and the crackers are delicious. With the blueberry goat cheese, you should keep a glass of warm water to dip a small knife in after each slice of cheese. This will prevent the goat cheese from falling apart. The blueberries can get a little messy, so we're using a separate cutting board for that, and then I'm gonna set that aside when I'm finished slicing it. I'm using a small oval platter, but you can use a plate, a square platter, rectangle, whatever you have on hand. I placed the crackers around one side and started fanning the cheese slices on the other. There will be lots of fussing along the way with this, and it's okay. We want it to look pretty and symmetrical. Where should I put the brie will be an important question you'll ask yourself in this process. Once you figure out where the brie is going, everything else will fall into place. And once you decide where to place the blueberry goat cheese, there is no turning back. As mentioned, the blueberries are a little messy and leave blue spots on your platter. So once they're on the platter, you can't move them. Next, it's good to slice a couple of pieces of brie ahead of time for presentation purposes. After that, I'm going to add those Gouda slices next to the pepper jack slices, and again, you'll fuss with this a few times, add slices, remove slices, until you get it just right. Then you can take a small bunch of red grapes and place them in between the cheese on one side, then take a small bunch of green grapes and place them between the other cheeses. We'll pour some of those honey roasted peanuts into a small ramekin or dish like this. We'll add another couple of grapes if needed, fuss a little more until it's just how you want it, and here's our affordable Walmart cheese tray. One of the great things about cheese trays is there's still plenty of Gouda, pepper jack, crackers, grapes, and peanuts to refill the tray as needed or put out a second tray. So for $20.35, you have a great finger food option to feed your guests before the holiday dinner. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays.